and welcome to the eFresh.com fish and seafood news. My name is Milen and these are this week's headlines. Poor Salman Run threatens treaty. Thailand gets shrimp mortgage scheme. Shrimp exporters set up certification. Vietnam anticipates pangaceous exports. Scots mussels for Brussels. The number of King Salmon that reached the Canadian border might not satisfy a treaty agreement between Alaska and Canada despite massive cuts in the subsistence fishing up and down the Yukon River in Alaska. The state has failed for the past three years to meet obligations laid out in the Pacific Salmon Treaty. Biologists are projecting the size of this year's Chinook run to be 120 to 130,000. Biologist Steve Hayes said 50 to 55,000 of those fish will have to make it to Canada to meet Canadian escapement and harvest objectives. Alaska Fish Managers restricted fishing on the early part of this year's run, which is believed to contain a large number of Canada-bound fish. The Thai Department of Internal Trade, DIT, is ready for the shrimp mortgage scheme. 10,000 tons of shrimp will enter the scheme. The DIT Director General stated that talks will be held between Agriculture Association and Cooperative as well as the Public Warehouse Organization to prepare for the launching of the shrimp mortgage project. The project will occur in parallel to the purchase of shrimp by cooperatives and another project to assist shrimp farmers by the government and cold storage businesses. A 1.4 billion baht budget has been set for the project with 190 million baht set aside for management of the scheme. The DIT stated that the continuation of the mortgage system was for the sake of shrimp farmers, but noted that studies were being conducted into a price guarantee scheme. The Asian Shrimp Alliance is working to set up a regional certification body to oversee the quality and standards of shrimp produced for export in member countries. The move is expected to help mitigate pressure from importing countries with strict standards on shrimp and over seafood from members of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. However, a Thai official admitted that the establishment of the ASEAN certification body may not happen anytime soon. Formed in 2007, ASA is made up of ASEAN members, especially major trim producing and exporting countries such as Thailand, Vietnam and Indonesia. The organization aims to help improve shrimp farming among member countries and overcome export obstacles. Vietnamese seafood enterprises are forecast to earn $1.3 billion from Pangasius exports this year. This is up $300 million against figures given in early May by the Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers. Pangasius exports will recover quickly from now on as huge markets including Eastern Europe and African region have shown signs of increasing demand for Vietnamese Pangasius. Demand from the Eastern European market has increased by four times over the same period last year. Chile and Peru are also increasing imports, while Mexico has raised its imports volume twofold. Some African countries have raised ordered volume by 10. A recent decision by Russia to stop importing fish from Chile, Canada and China, meanwhile, will bring more opportunities to Vietnamese fish exporters. Scottish Isle of Shuna has signed a six-figure contract to supply rope-grown mussels to Belgium's leading supermarket chain, effectively selling the country the fare it regards as its own. The Shetland firm already claims to have 25% of the UK market share of Scottish farms' mussels and sells some 590 tons each year. Having tied up the deal with Belgium chain, the Lays, Isle of Shuna now plans to target other European countries including France, Holland and Germany. Managing director Donny Gillies said that Shuna's rope-grown mussels are more environmentally friendly and sustainable than the dredge mussels commonly grown in Europe. 
mussels are as popular in Belgium as chicken is on British dinner tables, with almost 100,000 tons of mussels consumed annually by Belgians. Thank you for watching the eFresh.com fish and seafood news. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.